Hello again, minions! It's your long-lost buddy Wheezy. Back again, bringing you some Power Wash Simulator. Today I'm, I'm gonna jump into some Power Wash Simulator and I was considering doing kind of my typical simulator-esque gameplay thing. I may end up being kind of silly anyway, but I've been pretty absent for the last month. And so I figured let's jump in to do some Power Wash cleaning. And, and maybe just talk about it a little bit. Um, I have actually already been playing quite a bit of this game. It is surprisingly chill. Like if I'm got a, since I work remotely, if I've got a meeting where I just have to listen and I don't really have to pay super close attention or I don't need much interaction or it's one of those meetings that could be an email, I can just like absentmindedly power wash while I go or if I want to throw a YouTube video on in the background or something like, I have absolutely just been playing way more of this game than I have any business doing, as opposed to something like, I don't know, Lawnmower Simulator, where I kind of played them mostly jokingly. Um, this one, I, I've actually genuinely enjoyed uh, to the point where I played quite a bit of it and haven't even bothered recording a video just yet. Um, this is interesting, so I've just unlocked this level, I haven't done it for this car. I cleaned this house! earlier in the game. It was one of the cl cleaning levels, so I, that's kind of satisfying to come here and and uh, get out of here. Get out of here, still, and clean this car uh, in front of this house that I cleaned. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. So, for those of you who aren't aware that this is a thing, it's on Game Pass, if you've got Game Pass, which is great. It's also available on Steam and, like, other platforms in case you don't have Game Pass and you want to play it. But on Game Pass, you just get it. And have I mentioned that I'm in love with Game Pass? I'm absolutely in love with Game Pass. So, but it's a game where you literally uh, power wash things. And uh, I've unlocked the second power washer. I'm not quite to the third level power washer, which is quite a bit more expensive. But, I mean, it's one of those oddly satisfying games where, um, for instance, even here, like, there's some special levels where you can clean the Mars rover, and then there's, like, career mode, where you just, like, yeah, get different jobs. So, for instance, this one was, what, the detached house. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, cleaned a playground with a stegosaurus slide. It's just been, it's been great. So, figured I'd clean this car. This will go pretty quick. Oh, man. That's awfully, awfully loud in my ears here. I'll make sure I get the audio bounce on that, right? Um... But yeah, so while it's just kind of like power washing in the background, I figured I would talk to you fine minions about why I've been so AWOL for like a month. And um, there's two main reasons for that. One is, that, I'm going to turn this way down because the power washing is surprisingly loud and distracting when I'm trying to talk. Uh, the two things are our work and life, which work as part of life, I guess, but I consider them separate. Um... At work, I have been um, engaged on a couple. I'm a software consultant, and I've been doing that um, for about three years since I left my job doing full-time just software engineering. And recently, I started working instead of a traditional consultant role where I was doing full-time uh, kind of helping uh, our customers implement uh, software technologies. I've moved into an architect role, uh, so instead of working full-time on an engagement, I work part-time on a couple of engagements, and that has that transition has been quite busy as I've been putting together new uh, resources related to that. Oh, there's a rust and stuff on this car. We're gonna have to get some get some creativity going. Um, but yeah, so that's been extra busy as well as um, just life in general being busy. I've got my kids that I'm spending a lot of time with, which is really great. Uh, and also I just moved again. You may notice yet another change of scenery. I still need to hang some stuff up, but I have literally moved five times in five years, which is fantastically exciting stuff. Um, some of the more astute among you may have noticed that since I started posting videos again a couple of years ago after a very long hiatus, what was I gone for like literally four, six years, something like that? Um, yeah, my scenery has changed pretty much on the reg. So, 
yeah, that said, it's been a little bit difficult over the last month or so with moving and work and all that stuff. To get time to game much, I haven't really been playing uh, much of anything other than, like I said, I've been playing quite a bit of this over the last couple of weeks just because it doesn't require the kind of time or attention that something like a competitive shooter does or a more in-depth, like, story-driven uh, game. Uh, that said, I have started playing uh, a little bit of uh, Stray on the PS5, which I'm enjoying. I'm just going to jump on this car. I hope they don't mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't know if I'm going to record any of that. It's just a it's a relatively short game from what I've heard, about four and a half hours or something like that. Um, I've probably been playing it for an hour or maybe getting close to two. But uh, I don't know if I'll post any of that. That's just been kind of a nice, like, chill play in the background kind of game. But, yeah, um, a new update, apparently sizable update for Battlefield is going to be dropping tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably, I'm going to well, definitely jump into that and do some of that. But, yeah, that's kind of the story. Here I've got, I've got a quick kind of once over here. But these this rust, let's see if I can just turbo wash this rust off here. Yeah, that's the way of it. Um... This, so yeah, that's that's kind of the, the quick and dirty of uh, why Wheezy's been absent. So, the things I want to be able to get into more, um, I've also, in addition to that, I should say, been playing quite a bit of Sea of Thieves in the little game timing I do have available, especially um, on the weekends and stuff when I got more time with my kids. Seb has been loving Sea of Thieves, so he and I have been spending a lot of time playing that, which has been really great, so... I've been forgoing some of the games that I would typically play for my own personal enjoyment to uh, spend some time playing those games with Seb, which has been great fun. We've been making a lot of progress sailing the seven seas. The last couple of times we played, uh, we got pretty viciously ganked, <laughs> um, which can be, uh, especially for Seb, a little bit disconcerting at times, but uh, overall... I think that aspect of the game adds a lot to it, because it's a pirate game, right? The fact that anytime you encounter another player ship, you may find someone who's a friend, or they may be pirates that are trying to just absolutely gank your shit. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. I've been getting a little bit of content out of that. You've seen some of it posted. Some of the things I need to still process. Uh, maybe get some of that posted, but... The core of, obviously, what I really enjoy and what I want to get back to is I am... Uh, I love shooters. I am a, a huge fan of first-person shooters. Uh, I also really love racing sims. That's something I haven't really built a lot of content on this channel around, but I do enjoy it. So Gran Turismo 7 coming out was exciting and then disappointing because it's really the way that they've built that game up. Feels very much like a grind intended to get you to pay microtransactions for game currency instead of just a game focused around around driving. The core driving experience in Gran Turismo 7 is absolutely fantastic. The best simulation racing experience I've ever had. And I grew up on the Gran Turismo series, but then when the Forza series came out uh, and I picked up the Xbox 360 and started playing that, I fell in love with Forza as well. So I've always loved both of those series. But it did feel like Forza was a bit of an evolution and a bit of a cleaner and more enjoyable kind of alternative to the more kind of Japanese uh, Gran Turismo. And I say Japanese because I think it fits very much more with the culture of work <laughs> uh, as opposed to the more American um, Forza series, which feels a lot more like play. And I do love simulation racing, but I also don't want it to feel like a job. And that is my biggest complaint, more so than any other Gran Turismo game I've played in the series, which I've played them all, um, is that Gran Turismo 7, once you get past the initial like menus, which feel like the, the menu system feels like the introductory tutorial to the game, but then once you complete that, which goes relatively quickly, there's really not much else motivating to do other than tedious stuff like time trials and and you know mastering uh you know license tests mastering individual courses by doing uh sector-based time trials and it's just i mean it just really quickly ran out of things that felt fun to do and it felt like i was working it felt like i had to start working at that game 
to try and earn, like, and then it was just barely doling out money. Because one of the other things I really love about racing games like that, simulation racers, is collecting cars, right? Having a bunch of different cars to go and drive in a bunch of different races. And Gran Turismo 7 feels very miserly. And it doesn't feel like I can really rapidly collect cars. It feels like I have to grind and grind and grind and grind to get a car that I want. So that what? So that I can race it in a couple of races and be like, oh, I want to drive a Ferrari FXX a little bit. Uh, but it costs $3 million. And for me to get the amount of money for that is going to take me hours and hours of grinding races I don't really want to race. Uh, and then I have to get like a special invitation to get the opportunity to buy the car. I just really don't like that system. So I'm looking forward to the new Forza game coming out. Uh, they just released trailers for it and stuff. So I can't remember if it's going to be coming out this year or not, but definitely looking forward to that. Gran Turismo 7 has disappointed me, despite the solid racing. So, anyway, big roundabout way of saying I really enjoy shooters, sim racers. Um, a lot of the content on this channel was originally built around shooters, although primarily, for those of you who've been around a while, it was built around playing games with my friends, and I've talked about this, you know, numerous times before. During the console shift, generation shifts after the Xbox 360, like when the Xbox One and PS4 came out, my core group of gaming friends kind of scattered to the wind, uh, which really is a big part of what kind of led to my hiatus on the channel, as well as sort of the change of focus uh, that has happened here to being more uh, around just general entertaining gameplay, but also kind of like uh, tactics and strategy, like getting better. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, again, all of that is to say that with Modern Warfare 2 coming, I was really hoping to get this resurgence in good shooter-based content, like the Wheezy's War College series that I re-rebooted and was making some progress on with Modern Warfare 2019. I was really hoping that with, like, Vanguard and even Cold War the year before, and especially Battlefield 2042 that there was going to be really solid shooter games that I could create a lot of content around, but they've all just turned out to be big disappointments that I don't really even want to play, much less spend a lot of time creating general shooter content for. So I am absolutely looking forward to Modern Warfare 2. I have very high hopes for it, just because it's very much looking to be an evolution of Modern Warfare 2019, which I still contend is by far the best Call of Duty in the series, uh, hands down. So I'm looking forward to more of that. And not only will I be creating a lot of content about Modern Warfare 2 in general, um, but also using that to create uh, content for, you know, Wheezy's War College, just general shooter content. But uh, yeah. We are uh, making good progress on this. This one's got a lot more detail to it. You know, I, I guess the difficulty, if you will, is ramping up as uh, we get further into this game. So it's a little bit more about the detail work instead of just this bigger wash in here. So let's see, what do we got? Uh, this tire needs a little bit more. Let's get in there, get some of that detail. Oh, got that. Get the inside, there we go. Strap, mudguard, headlight. Okay, so I'm missing some on this headlight. Let's get in, get some of this last little detail work. Jumping on your car again. Don't mind me. Nothing to worry about. Here we go. Power wash this headlight. Get in here. Get some of this stuff going. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I, this this is definitely one of those just oddly satisfying games that I've really been enjoying. Just putting on and playing while I'm just kind of getting up to other things. Uh, bonnet, mudguard. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Got to get some deeper cleaning in here, huh? All right, we got you. We got you. We're getting close. Sometimes it's really good. This game has some some slop in it, basically, where you it doesn't make you clean up every single speck of dirt. Uh, once you hit, like, a certain threshold percentage, essentially, uh, it cleans up the rest of it for you. When you get that ding, like that, then all of that other little dirt 
automatically goes away, which is great, very satisfying, because it would be really tedious to have to dig out all of those little specks of dirt. That said, sometimes that does kick in uh, pretty fast, and there are times when I'm like cleaning like a large deck or, you know, something like a big wall, and I'm like painting lines and going very methodically to it, and I get down to the last three or four lines, and it's like, that's enough, and it just clears the rest of it. It's just kind of like, all right, bro, but okay. <laughs> All right, come on, what do we got here? Let's get a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. There we go. And also, when you get down to the last couple of things, uh, it will make you a list, I think, of the last three items when you get down to it. All right, this mud guard needs a little bit more. What is it, under here? Yeah, that's it. Come on now. Come on now. There's also, if you want, you know, there's like a list of here, things that you can highlight. Um, if you want them to fast track you to, to find what you're doing. So there's a lot of stuff in this game that does a good job of avoiding being pointlessly tedious. Um, Mudguard? Mudguard. You're going to be you're gonna be a little bit difficult here, Mudguard? Come on. Where's the dirt? Where's the dirt I need? Almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Still up there? Come on. Come on, you're right there. Where, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? No, this tire here. Okay. My guard. Oh, I saw a little bit shining in there. Come on. See, now this is one of those instances where it probably should have had a little bit more slop. Like this is like I got I got most of it. What's up? What's up? Like what's up? Where 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 is it? Where is it? Push right on the D-pad and it glows where the dirt is. What? What? What did I miss? What? What is it? All right, let's move on to something. Let's see. Grill. It's good. Headlight. Other mud guard. Is that it? Is there some, like, right on the... Mud guards? Don't give me your shit now. A little bit here. Still got a little bit for this tire. Probably a little bit inside here. There we go. What else we got? Uh, mud guard. Okay, we're gonna leave that mud guard for a second there. Tire, hubcap, mud guard, tire. All right, a little bit more for this tire. A little bit there. A little bit in here. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, let's get it. Oh, got a little bit there. Oh, let's get a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, cool. Got some rust. Got some rust. We gotta clear off there. Gotta clear off this shelf, yeah? Come on now. Come on now. A little bit on the side here. Bumper. Another another mud guard. Is that are these connected? Is that no, these are separate mud guards, right? Mud guard. Mud, oh, are they all connected? Oh, is that what it is? Is this all gonna clear at once when I get it? Come on, get that tire. Oh yeah, okay. So the mud guard runs the whole length of the car. All right, that explains it. So it's it's actually the mud back here on the mud guard that's still keeping me from. Got it. Got it. What do we got? What do we got? What are we missing? What are we missing here? Oh, did we did we get that one? Oh, okay, we got it. Uh, mugger, mugger, okay, okay, door. Uh, oh yeah, let's get a little bit of this. Cool. Alright, so we got more than three items left to do. Let's see, trunk, it's the shelf. What do we got, shelf? What we got, shelf? Still under there. A little tricky under there. Get it. Is there some... Here we go, let's get it. Get that in. There we go. Alright, trunk. Mud guard, mud guard, bump, image, door, body, bonnet. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, what? What was it? Mud guard, headlight, tire. Hub. Okay, we're gonna have to pull this up. What do we got? Wing mirrors. Okay, wing mirrors. Door. Window. Wait. Oh, there we go. Got it. Get them cleaned up. 
So I was kind of hoping that this car here would be a, a pretty quick one, but it's, it's turned out it's been reasonably involved. So there you go. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, dirt? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Dirt, dirt, dirt. All right. We've got to pull this back up again. We still got one more wing mirror. So we push that. We can highlight it. And it'll glow. This one. All right. Here we go. All right. Now we're down to last one. Door handles. Okay. Times three. All right. Times two. I don't know if this is one of the ones. That one must be pretty good. There we go. There we go. Door hinge. We've missed one of these, apparently. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, hinge up there, huh? Hinge up there, huh? Your hinge up here on this side? That's what I missed. Yeah, yeah. No? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. All right, let's pull it up. This is uh, this is the most I've had to actually pull up this part here. Door hinges. Which one? God. There, you. Hi. Okay. And the horn. Which is this. Which one? Which one is it? All right, let's not guess. Bonk. This one. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha, horn. Let's make it happen. Come on now. Come on now. Booyah! So satisfying. So sad. And then you just get to walk around and look at your beautiful work that you did. And then when you bring up the menu, it does a... Honestly, they could have done better with this time lapse. But it's still pretty cool. How do they do that? They're like, there's me, my orange jumpsuit, going around just cleaning up this bad boy. And that's just satisfying. That is just satisfying. Mm. Mm hmm. So, that, this ended up being just a straight up update. I was gonna, I was thinking about incorporating my character. Ooh, a fire station. Incorporating my, my man of the people. Character for Power Wash Simulator, but I just generally just really been enjoying this game. Uh, so gonna be some more shooter content for me for sure. Um, also, while I'm in here, I might as well show you. I have downloaded some other Game Pass games that I feel like I'm just gonna have to touch on. It's got some cricket, got some Peppa Pig, another Paw Patrol game. Uh, so expect in addition to some some awesome. Uh, shooter action for me just some random fun as well i do just like jumping into game pass it is i am absolutely blown away by the value provided by game pass uh i saw an article yesterday talking about how uh sony released a statement or something like that saying that people are playing their ps5s a lot less this year than they were last year and yes I saw people respond, it's like, well, there was the pandemic and the lockdowns and all that stuff, which is absolutely true. But on the other side of it, too, I have also been paying my, playing my PS5 a lot less. A, there's not a whole lot of great PS5 exclusive content to be playing. I'm excited to continue playing Stray. Um, and just also with Game Pass, like a lot of people like me, if you've got a PS5, there's a good chance you've probably got a Series X, too. The, you know, like... These consoles are getting a bit to that level of hard to find and expensive that the people who are getting them probably like video games a little bit too much like me. And so they got the choice. So I've been playing my Series X way more than my PS5. Um, that's not to say the, P the Series X hardware is better than the PS5 necessarily, although I do think that this, the Xbox ecosystem is light years ahead of the PlayStation ecosystem as far as ease of use, player friendliness, and then you put on top of that Game Pass and the fact that the new PlayStation Plus tiered system is absolutely not at all a response to that. At least not one that, for me, as a long time PlayStation fanboy since the original PS1, um, even for a PlayStation hardcore fanboy, it's just not enough to dethrone the Series X and how, how amazing... Uh, 
it is and the Xbox ecosystem is and the way that it, inter it interoperates with my Series S and all that stuff anyway. That's enough shop talk for now. This is probably a good place if you guys made it to the end of this. Just leave comments down below. What are you guys up to? What are you playing? What do you want to see from here? This is almost like a Wheezy's update, weekly update back when I was doing those, um, but with some Power Wash Simulator. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here because I'm just running my mouth as I tend to do. And if you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed some Power Washing and some Wheezy catch-up time, uh, leave me a like. If you didn't, because Wheezy talks too goddamn much and you just want to see me shoot shit, leave me a dislike. It's okay. Subscribe for more stuff from me because... I'm awesome and there's good stuff. If you don't like this, or if you don't like, well, you pro you're not watching this. If you didn't like this video, you're probably not still listening to me talk. Um, but no matter what you like, you'll probably find something here that you'll enjoy. So stick around. Just gotta say, join the minions. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.